Okay, here's what you'll be doing today. This is the only packet there is, and you got four problems to do. I got six examples to go over. Now, what I want you to do is simplify that expression as much as possible, and I did some circling for you to help you out. So, you're going to be organized to number one, number two. So, here's what we do on number one. Look at this circle here. Draw these rainbows, okay? Draw those arches. So it would be 2 times, and then negative 3 is your multiplying number. So I'll be taking that times 1x, and I'll be taking that times negative 4. So I take negative 3 times 1, and that's negative 3, negative 3x, three and then take negative 3 times negative 4, and that's 12. Now, you see this 2x, you need to write plus 2x. Now, what you need to do is circle your x numbers and add those together, okay? Add those. So I take negative 3 plus 2x. Add your x numbers together. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, so negative 1x. Now I add the numbers in here that don't have an x, okay? Well, all I have is 12, so I just put plus 12. Okay, my next problem. Number one, draw the arches in your circle. Seven is your multiplying number, so I'm going to take that times 2x and times 3. 7 times 2 is 14, so 14x, sorry. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Now, here's a 15. Now, does that 15 have an x with it? No, it's just 15, so plus 15. Now, circle your x number, okay? That's the only x number I have, so I just write it down. I don't need to add anything. And then I need to add all the non-x numbers. I have 21 plus 15. So I take 21 plus 15, 36. And there's my answer. Okay, next. Draw the rainbows. Your multiplying number is negative 2. Negative 2 times 5x and negative 2 times 3. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So negative 10x. And then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So plus negative 6. Now, what else do I have outside the circle? I have a 3. Does a 3 have an x? Yeah, 3x. Now, circle your x numbers. You need to add those numbers because you have more than one. Negative 7. Negative 7x. Now, I need to add all the numbers that don't have x. Well, there's only a negative 6. So, negative 6 is what I write. Okay, next problem. Rainbows. Your multiplying numbers negative five. So negative five times three x, negative five times negative five. Negative five times three is negative fifteen x. Plus, and negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. Now, we have another number outside. Does it have an x? Yes, it does. So circle your x numbers, and you need to add those together. Negative 11, so negative 11x. 
Now look for all the numbers we didn't circle. Just 25, so I just put plus 25. Okay, next. I screwed this up. I should have put a 1 and a 2. Okay. So, rainbows. I got a 4 and a 4. I times that by 3x, and I times that by 2. So 4 times 3 is 12, so 12x. And then 4 times 2 is 8. Okay. What else do I have there? I have a 10. Does the 10 have an x? Nope, it's just a 10. So circle your x numbers. You only have one of them, so I just write down 12x. Then I add the numbers that didn't have x, that I didn't circle. 18. Okay, and then last one. The multiplying numbers are 2 times 3x and 4. Two, that's 6x, and 2 times 4 is 8. Now I have a 5. Does it have an x? Looks like it does. Now circle your x numbers. So we're going to add the x numbers together, and we're going to add the non-x numbers together. So the x number is 6 plus 5 is 11, so 11x. 11 now, all the numbers I didn't circle I add, but there's only one of them, so if there's only one of them, we just write the thing down. 